Here we go. We're going to start talking how to play one high defense. Actually, before we do that, I'm sorry. We're going to talk about how we define coverage shells before we talk about how to play one high defense. So to me, coverage concepts, coverage shell concepts, Four categories of coverage concepts. Man, which to me is cat coverage. Got a man. Cover zero for the man. I got a guy. That's my cat, that's my cat, we got a guy. Zone! Spot drop. Vision break, usually a reroute concept. Spot drop, cover three, spot drop, cover two. Tampa two is the big one that everybody knows. I'm visioning the quarterback. I'm dropping into an area. I'm not reading the pattern of the receivers, and I'm breaking on the ball. If someone comes into my area, I'm not going to match the pattern, but I may get hands on that guy as he runs through my area. I don't care about the distribution of the pattern. So I drop to the hook, and the hook is 10 to 12 yards, two yards inside the hatch. I talk to, you know, I drop to the curl, curl flat, 10 to 12 yards, top of the numbers. I vision the quarterback. <coughs> he sets up, I set up. I break on the ball. Kane's hand comes off, I break. That is zone coverage. This differentiation becomes really important because this is going to get real fast, real fast. Zone match. Zone match. I'm going to drop to an area, and I'm going to relate to receivers in that area. I'm going to play top down slash stack the zones. So, an example of this would be Rick Wiz match, cover three match. I'm dropping to the hook. I'm dropping to the seam. I'm dropping to the curl. I'm relating to the receivers as they enter my zone. I will have a set of rules that tell me if the receiver enters my zone, I'm going to match him in a certain manner. I still play with what I call zone integrity. So as I drop, I'm going to draw it up here, changes when I drop to the hook. And I'm at my, I'm dropping to the top of the zone. Let's say I have to take the three through. There's the three. I don't get my, when we say my hip and his hip, I stack the zone from top down. This is really specific. If a kid tells me that it was zone match, I should hear them say, I stack the zone, I play it top down with zone integrity. Yes, sir. What do you mean by stack the zone? Good question. Stand up. He's the receiver. Run a little girl sitting right there. Bang. I'm stacked on top of the guy. Stacked on top of him. And at the top of the zone, that's stacking the zone, coach, Slowly, just pretend like you're a shallow crosser. I have to take the three through. I'm doing it with zone integrity. I am top <coughs> down. I'm not hip to hip. I'm top down, stacking him. That's what I mean by stack. What's the advantage that as opposed to when you come to your zone jump? Good question. When we play zone matches, the idea, particularly for the underneath defenders, is that the Ball is thrown in what we call, some people call it the no cover zone. I don't like saying no cover zone because it's not that I'm not covering him. It. It's just I'm covering him in a different manner, right? I want to make sure that I'm playing top down so I don't get high low. Because we're playing zone. 
And we'll talk about those principles when we talk about curl three. Okay? When the offense makes three levels, I don't make three levels. If they run a curl flat combination route, I don't want to, and again, we'll talk about this in curl, curl three. If I'm a curl flat defender and I'm playing zone match, I'm still going to match him to the flat, but I'm not going to have my hip and his hip. I'm going to play through the curl to the flat so I don't undress the corner on the curl route one-on-one. -on -one. That's stacking the top of the zone. That's why we do that. Mm -hmm. So stacking the top of the zone relate more to the inside players, not so much to the corners and safeties? Yes. Thank you. Pattern matches, in general, are easiest to see, whether it's a zone match or man match, based on looking at the underneath defenders. It's so a lot of times hard to see based on the top guys, like the guys on the roof. Because they may be playing with man eyes. Now, if you look really closely, you can see the difference in their technique, because they'll play with more depth. They will be less, they, they won't play this tight of coverage. But it's easiest to see with the underneath defenders. You can tell the star underneath droppers more how to relate to receivers. In general, as a general principle for me, as a general pr pr principle for me, when I play zone matches, as a general principle, I play with a smash rule. When I play man matches, as a general principle, I play no smash rule, because the kids relate to them in their head. We're gonna let them throw the ball in front of us in a zone match. We're still matching the pattern, so it's not vision and break. If two runs in the seam, I'm, and I'm a seam curl flat defender, I'm gonna run with him in the seam, because he ran in the seam. Not, I'm the seam curl flat defender, but I'm visioning the cue the whole time. So he ran the seam, but I don't care my rebound, but I let him go. That's not, that's, to me, that's the zone spot drop. Make sense? Man match. We have a man. <coughs> until he does something, and then we take other men based on a set of rules. Easiest example. Coverage that we let some people call cut coverage. I'm a Will Blacker backer. I got two up and two inside. So I have two up, I have two in. Man to man. So if he runs up, I'm gonna play proper position maintenance on the guy, right? Which would be inside trail. However, I got him man to man with man eyes. Up, inside, man to man, man to man. He goes out. He's going to take it, the corner's going to take it, and he's going to cut the one. He's going to undercut the number one receiver with man eyes. So it's, I got the guy, he goes out, I go man the other guy with a particular type of integrity, a particular type of position maintenance. It's not, he goes out, I look at the quarterback. It's, he goes out, I go get another man. Based on the set of rules. That is the man match coverage. You will see man my eyes close coverage. You won't see guys dropping to zones. Now, a guy, here's, here's what becomes difficult. A guy might be getting depth, but playing with man, like screwing his eyes on a man. He might not be pressing the line of scrimmage, particularly some of the linebackers. They'll tell him, get body position, but you have him man to man. You're not dropping to the hook. It's just, Get depth, but you got to do man to man. The easiest one is man free wrap hole. I'm playing the hole, right? And I'm playing the cue, but when someone comes, I got a man to man. I'm going to run through with him hip to hip on the guy. And then that guy is going to become the rat, and he's going to take another dude man to man. So there's certainly some fluidity, but in general, the principles remain the same. Does that make sense? Questions so far? Problems, concerns? Good pace? <laughs> 